Hello, friends and family. Blessings to you. Guys, I'm really excited. It's a good day. It's a good morning. Let me know where you guys are watching from. I do see some friends and family just messaging me here. Praise the Lord. Manda Bosa. I want you to like and share. It's good to see all of you. Let me know where you guys are watching from. Hallelujah. Kabara Bosidiki. Watch from North Dakota. Blessings to you. I'll watch later at work. Amen. Brother Bill, love and blessings to you. Hello, Ivana. Blessings to you. Sabrina, all right, from North Dakota. I thought I saw Judge Amari there earlier. Guys, I want you to like, give us some hearts, and share. I'm really excited today because this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. This is the day. Okay, not tomorrow. This is the day. Now is the day of salvation. So I'm really excited. Hello there, Miriam. Blessings. Joe Schroeder, Alexandra, hallelujah. Got a lot of mighty woman of God uh, checking in here. Hello, Jackie Clark from Lakewood. Jennifer Shakara, ba, ba, ba. Yeah, hey, hey. yeah I, I want you to like and share. Let me know you guys are watching from. Share, share, share. <clears throat> because uh, in a few minutes, I'm just going to get into the word, uh, the prophetic word for this month of April. I'm really excited. Tomorrow, uh, it's already April. Amen. It's already going to be April tomorrow, uh, but it's already the new Hebrew month. We've already crossed over. Someone say crossed over. We have already crossed over the threshing floor and the threshold of the new month uh, in the Hebrew calendar. So I'm really excited. Wow, I could feel the Holy Ghost. I could feel the power, the grace of Jesus. Come on. If you receive it, say amen. Hello there, Trista. Blessings, Alana, Danielle from Trinidad, Tobago, Kathy. It's the new Hebrew month. Yes. Hello from Texas. Come on. Fire right there in Texas. Fire in North Dakota. Fire in Vegas. Fire wherever you are watching from in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Shabbat <clears throat> I'm really excited for this word. And uh, guys, I just want to let you know, I want to give you two announcements here. All right. Um. No, announcement number one do be praying for us pray with us pray with us that this prophetic word this broadcast will not be interrupted and the lord jesus christ will get all the glory and that you receive your blessings today amen do you want to receive great blessings today amen so pray for that but the first announcement is tomorrow is april 1st and i'm doing another prophecy usa with lance wall now now that's going to be incredible tomorrow someone say tomorrow april 1st I have another Prophecy USA with Lance Wallen out. Now, that's going to be a game changer. That's going to be incredible, all right? So that's going to be tomorrow, 2.30 p.m. Shoot, PST, April 1st. And no, this is not an April Fool's joke, okay? This is not an April Fool's joke. And you are also not an April Fool, all right? You are not a fool. Come on, you are a fool for Christ. Ha, ha, ha. Because Jesus will use the foolish things of the world, to confound the wise. Can I get an amen? He will use the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And we're in a time right now where Jesus is confounding the wise. He's destroying the system, the principalities, the powers. He's destroying, he's he's humbling things right now. Ha <laughs> ha, have you felt humbled? Have you felt uh, you know, deterred? Have you felt moved, shaken? Well, he's humbling things right now to reveal what's in you. Uh, but uh, you're not a you're not a fool of the world, you're a fool for Christ Jesus, amen. That's going to be tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. PST. That's going to be incredible. And then second announcement. Come on, can I get a drum roll, please? Second announcement. Uh, Thursday, Friday, we're having an Open Heavens online experience. It's going to be incredible. Okay, Open Heavens online experience. All right, we're supposed to be having a big conference called Open Heavens North Hollywood. But, you know, we postponed it. In fact, actually, what we did is we batched it together and we're working on an incredible online experience. Thursday and Friday, we got Kat Kerr, James Gall, uh, you know, we got a number of other men, women of God that we're bringing together for this. It's going to be incredible. So uh, so be on the lookout for that. And it's going to be a uh, paid entry. It's going to be private. It's not going to be free and public like we're doing a lot of these Prophecy USAs. So thank God for that. Amen. Because we're doing the Prophecy USAs for free. 
All right, gratis. All right, we're not doing it for money. A lot of people think, you know, we're doing it for money. No, we're not. We're doing it to reach souls. We're doing it because we love Jesus. It's our act of obedience to the Lord. And as he does that, blessings and rewards come down. Amen. Someone say rewards. Someone say prayers go up, blessings come down. Somebody say prayers go up, blessings come down. And I want to tell you, as I'm, I'm about to go into this prophetic word, you know, there's so much prayer that's happening and going on all across the earth. People are praying like there's no tomorrow. People are praying like they should have been praying all along. Can I get a hello, somebody? Okay. All right. There's so much prayer happening and going on right now that... There's, there's so there's so much spiritual activity, and it's about to open the floodgates. There's going to be an opening of the floodgates of heaven that's going to be happening soon. And I'm really excited because I'm standing on the Word of God. I'm, I'm believing that Passover, we're going to see Passover miracles. Someone say, Passover miracles. Somebody say, I receive my Passover miracles. Someone say, amen. Someone say, I receive my Passover resurrection. And, uh, you know, first and foremost, I want to welcome all of you guys. Thanks for coming on and uh, watching and supporting us and uh, our ministry and just following Jesus. I love you. Uh, we speak many blessings to you. Hallelujah. And, you know, I'm still going strong. We're still going strong. We're excited. We're grateful. And we're thankful to be alive in such a time as this. Amen. So I believe for a great Passover miracles and Passover resurrection, this is a time where Jesus is going to be put on display like never before. Amen. And uh, so as I'm welcoming you here today, uh, do give us some hearts and likes and share, share, share. Because um, I want to I want to say, uh, you know, uh, with all this coronavirus and all these bans and all these things happening and going on, uh, this is the perfect time for the gospel to be preached. And this is Kerabo Shabahaya, Rabababahaya. This is the perfect time for our King Jesus to be put on display. And, and God always has a, and not an underhanded, but an upper handed miracle. Okay, he always has the trump card. God always has the best for last. And Jesus always has something tucked up his sleeve. And I'm telling you, he has the best for last, people of God. God bless you, man of God, Andrew Toe. I see you here. Shalom, shalom to you, my friend. But God always has the best for last. And he always has greater tricks up his sleeve. You think the devil is tricky? That little trickster, that little pipstreak? I'm telling you that our God always has so many more things up his sleeve. And uh, he has a trump card, say, for, uh, for, for the season. Best for last. Amen. Someone say, amen. Someone say, I receive it. But I want to say concerning all these, uh, um, all these coronavirus, all these bands, all these uh, you know, <laughs> uh, what is conspiracy theories, all these hoaxes and folklores and just all this mumbo jumbo, all this crap that's going on. It is demonic. There is a man-made agenda behind it. The Illuminati, the 1% elitists are going down. There's going to be full exposure. Someone say full exposure. And uh, Jesus is, is working behind the scenes and something great is going to happen. Now watch this. I want to tell you right now that I am believing and I'm standing with you as a man of God in the Passover miracles that is about to be put on display. I'm, I'm, I'm a great, listen, I prophesied and I preached that we're going to see Passover miracles that I believe in April to May, which is Passover. Hear me now. And somebody write this here. April to May, we're going to see the ban lift. And then from May to June, which is Pentecost, we're going to see a boom. And then August to September, which is Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, we're going to see a full boomerang. Someone say boomerang. Someone say boomerang. So I believe April to May, which is Passover, we're going to see the ban lift. And in May to June, we're going to see a boom in Pentecost. Hallelujah. Arabo Shabbat. And then August to September, we're going to see a boomerang. Now, I love what uh, Prophet Stacey Campbell, her and Wesley, they're part of our board of advisors. I love what she said. You know, yeah, we need to bank our faith in the words of the prophets, but not just on temporary breakthrough, but on eternal breakthrough, eternal good news. Amen. So I want to give you good news. And in the words of Paul Cain, all I see is good news. All I see is good news. I don't see bad news. All I see is good news. That doesn't mean I'm ignoring what's going on. It just means that we're living from a higher realm and a higher perception. Man, I could feel the Holy Ghost right now. Thank you, Father. I pray right now 
that you're going to release angels of breakthrough, mm -hmm. angels of healing, angels of glory. I thank you right now. Every single person that's watching now, live and on a replay, answer the desires of their heart. Touch them, minister to them right now. I think for a fresh covering and a fire baptism of the Holy Ghost. Shoo! All right, someone say amen. Listen, I want to get into the prophetic word. Uh, <laughs> The prophetic word of this month, April. Listen, right now we've already crossed into the Hebrew calendar, which is Nissan. Someone say Nissan. And you know what? Nissan is not a car company. Okay, it is a car company. But Nissan is not just a car company. Uh, but Nissan is the Hebrew month that we're in right now in this Hebraic calendar, all right? So I'm saying Nissan, which is N-I-S-A-N. -S now, I love it. It actually started a few days ago, but right now we're in the month of Nissan, and this is one of the most prophetic and profound, important months because we know Passover, we know Easter, Resurrection Sunday, and we're going to get into that. But I want to tell you one of the reasons why uh, Nissan is so important. You're going to like this. It's known as the month of happiness. Some will say happiness. All right, it's known as the month of happiness. And some people are like, Pastor Ben, how can I be happy when I'm quarantined, when uh, you know I'm eating all this comfort food and junk food of drive through and how can I be happy when you know I can't do all these things, stipulations are going on? Well, you can be happy because happiness is not found in the world. It's found in Jesus, it's found in the Holy Spirit. And I wanna tell you right now that this is the month of happiness. So the Jews consider, uh, and good seeing you, my friend, if I just taught Michael Schwartz, I'm always praying for you, my friend. I love you as well. Uh, but I want to say um, that this is the month of happiness because the Jewish people say in Nisan is the month of the harvest. Okay, and I know a lot of people will say, well, a lot of prophetic people are always talking about harvest and harvests, but no, on, on the agricultural stance, Nissan this month, April, is the month of harvest. Someone say harvest. And harvesting what exactly? Barley. Okay. So uh, I'm going to be giving you some key words because this is a month where the barley harvest is ripe. It's ripe and ready. Come on. It's a pregnant woman. It's like a pregnant woman, a pregnant lady where the water's going to break. April, Nissan is a month where it's ripe and ready. There's ripeness in the atmosphere, shakarabom. There's something that's so ripe, it's heavy. It's, it, it's, you can feel the glory of God. There's, there's, there's a tangibility. It's ripe, it's moist in the atmosphere. So this, Nisan is a month. You feel the Holy Ghost? If you feel the Holy Ghost, say amen. Ha ha ha. Give me some hearts and likes. Bang, 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 bam. And you share right now. Fire. This is a month of ripeness. So people, uh, the Jewish people say, Nisan is a month agriculturally. Good seeing you, John Bear, my, my son, blessings you. This is a month of happiness because the barley harvest is ripe. Now, isn't that incredible? Because I'm telling you, you're about to reap. You are about to reap. And I want to tell you right now, people of God, it's so incredible because uh, from now to Pentecost, say Pentecost, there was the right, and of course, Pentecost has to do with the harvest of the barley. Or it has to do with the Ten Commandments coming down to Moses on Mount Sinai. Or it has to do with uh, Pentecost baptism, dunamis power in the upper room. So from now, Passover to Pentecost, we're going to see in the next 40, 50 days. I'm telling you, 40, 50 days of miracles. 40 days of miracles. 50 days of power. From Passover to Pentecost, we're going to see a transition take place. And I want to tell you today different things, different keys, because we need to keep our mouth shut. We need to be aware of what we're doing and saying, because your grumbling will delay or deny your promises. But your praise, your thanksgiving, your worship will bring you into a greater breakthrough. And way too many people are putting down the man of God. Pastor Ronnie Howard Brown, you need to shut up. Way too many people are putting down churches, putting down people, trying to shut the mouths of prophets. Are you serious? Did not, do we not say that this is the year 5780 of the mouth, of the prophets, of the Elijahs coming out of the cave? Do we not say that this is the time where you're going to be uncovered and the mouth, the trumpet, the trumpeteers of the Lord are going to speak, preach, prophesy the word of God? But why are you trying to be muzzled? So this is the time where you need to watch your mouth. And you need to watch the things that you're saying and out of what spirit is coming forth. Because your complaining and your grumbling is going to delay and deny the promises of God. Or your praise and your worship will accelerate 
will accelerate and will fast forward the fire and the power of Pentecost dunamis baptism, okay? And uh, I just saw my friend Evangelist Ankit Rambabu uh, from India log in. God bless you, my friend. Love and blessings to you, my friend. But, and I had a great chat with you last night concerning uh, Pastor Rodney, who's a dear, beloved friend of Pastor Shabarabo uh, Sabahaya. But I want to tell you now, because what comes out of your mouth is going to determine how fast or how slow you go into the next season, okay? And again, I'm telling you right now, Passover, this too will pass, okay? This too will pass. And this month in Hebrew, Nisan, it is the month. <clears throat> it is the month of happiness. And it's the month where the harvest is ripe. People get ready. Jesus is coming. It's the month where the harvest is ripe. So I, I want to give you some things here. It, it also, this month, someone say this month is also the first month of spring. In the Hebrew calendar, it's also the month of spring. Someone say spring. You're about to spring forward. You are about to spring forward. Do you not perceive it? I am doing a new thing for it springs up. The oldest past, the newest come. Spring, 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 spring. It's springing forward with power, blessing, and it cannot be stopped. It will not be stopped. And I love it because, and, I, and I'm kind of all over the place right now because I'm tying this in with the importance of Nisan this month, the month, the time we're in, to the month we're about to come into Passover to Pentecost. You follow me? Passover to Pentecost. Because uh, Pentecost, around Pentecost, May 14th, 1948, hear me now, May 14th, 1948, is the day that Israel became a nation again. May 14th, 1948 is the time, is the day that Israel became a nation again. And I'm telling you, even from now to then, we're going to see shakings in Israel, but we're also going to see breakthrough. We're going to see shakings with the people of God, but we're going to see breakthrough from now to, because May 14th, 1948, which was the time of Pentecost, 1948, Israel became a nation. So from now till then, we're going to see shakings. And we're going to see breakthrough in Israel for the Jewish people and for the people of God. But I'm telling you right now, of course, Passover, you know, uh, it stands for redemption. Passover stands for the Exodus. And I, I want to tell you, I want to read this verse in this passage. Here, Exodus 7, verse 16. Praise God. Exodus 7, verse 16. <laughs> I love this. Kiaba. Exodus 7, verse 16. And you shall say to him, who's him? Pharaoh. You shall say to the unjust ruler, to the unjust governor, to the unjust mayor. You shall say to that person, hallelujah, the Lord, the God of the Hebrews sent me saying, let my people go that they may serve me in the wilderness. But so far you have not obeyed. Let my people go this Passover Resurrection is a time of mass exodus. It's a time of mass deliverance. It's a time where people are coming out of Egypt, coming out of death, coming out of the grave, coming out of the old, coming out of the spirit of sorrow and doom and gloom. Karabosha. This is a month. Passover is a time of celebration. It's a supernatural season. You know this, where God is letting you go. L release. Come on. You're about to have a jailbreak, people of God. There's a release right now. There's a release. You're about to have a jailbreak from sorrow, from doom and gloom, from evil. You're about to have a release. Whatever held you captive is going to let you go, and you're about to flee. You're about to run. And not only that, but you're going to have provision. Amen. You're going to have seven times record recompense sevenfold, all right, because the Israelites left with bundles of abundance, and this season, if you handle the season right, if you steward your heart, your soul, your mouth, your mind, if you steward the season right, then you're actually going to leave with bounty, because the Egyptians were commanded, give your earrings, give your bracelets, bless them, send them out, bless them, let them leave to worship me, in the wilderness. And of course, that word serve or uh, an NIV translation is worship or other translations of worship. Some say worship. Come on. So this is a season where Passover, you're being released from the pit of hell for you to worship, for you to serve God, even in the wilderness. Because of course, from Passover uh, to Pentecost, which is a time where M Moses received the Ten Commandments. 
and there was a glory that, that was manifested, okay? And of course, broke the Ten Commandments, and there was a second Ten Commandments, and restitution, all those things. But this window right now is a time where God's letting you go. He's releasing you from witchcraft. He's releasing you from manipulation, from false coverings. He's releasing you from devils, from demons, from stress. He's releasing you to worship. He's releasing your worship. He's releasing your sound. He's releasing your song. He's releasing the people of God to step into a divine season of Passover. And of course, Passover, we know, uh, you know, it's a time where, uh, you know, again, there's redemption. But of course, the blood of the Lamb, amen, the blood of the Lamb of God. Man, I could feel the Holy Ghost. Yeah, shoot. So I, I want to say this one thing right now. In the, you know, I agree. Kenneth Copeland said the same thing. As as quickly as coronavirus came, that's how quick it's going to leave. And I, I, same thing, Prophetess Jennifer Evans, good friend of ours, said, as quickly as it came, it's going to leave. And I'm telling you, Passover is a time of sudden breakthrough, sudden miracles, sudden deliverance, sudden healing. It's going to come fast, quickly, faster than the blink of an Asian eye. It's going to come fast. Sudden breakthrough, sudden healing, sudden promotion, sudden glory. It's going to happen fast. Why? Because what did God command the Israelites? Have your staff ready. Have your staff ready. Have your sandals on your feet. Be clothed. Be prepared ready. Because when the angel of death passes by, it's going to happen quickly. Someone say quickly. Someone say, my blessings are coming quickly. Someone say, my deliverance is coming soon. Someone say, my miracle is happening suddenly in Jesus' name. If you believe it, say amen. Amen. So listen. So uh, this is a time of where the harvest is ripe. Okay, Passover is a time where the harvest is ripe. So that's number one. The harvest is ripe. Number two, it's a time of redemption. Okay, it's a time of redemption of mass exodus and worship. He's releasing your sound. He's releasing the people of God. The band's going to lift in Jesus' name. Someone say amen. Okay. And of course, <clears throat> uh, shout out. If you receive right now, someone say amen. And of course, you know, Passover, this is a time. Uh, this is actually also uh, Easter. Of course, uh, Easter comes from uh, the Greek uh, original word, which is Eshtar, which is uh, Eshtarte, which is a pagan god. But it was in replacement or it was in the mixture of Passover. Passover, uh, and of course, Jesus fulfilled every uh, biblical feast. Jesus is the law and the prophets. He fulfilled the law and the prophets in him. Okay, but Passover uh, or Easter is also known as resurrection. I want to read this here, John eleven twenty five. This is gonna be this is so good. My gosh, John eleven twenty five. Jesus said to her, "I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die." Come on, I'm gonna read that again. I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, and they will never die. Even though they die. Don't they? And he says, and everyone who believes in me will never die. Do you believe in this? Death, where is your sting? Death, where is your victory? Come on. Jesus is triumphant. We are the triumphant church. I don't care what your eschatology, what your end times theology belief system is all about. But we are the triumphant church. And Jesus said, if you believe in me, you will never die. Even though you die, you will never die. If you believe in me, your spirit will live. I am the resurrection of the life. So this is a month of resurrection power. Someone say resurrection power. Someone say resurrection power in my life, in my finances, in my health. Fire. In my body, in my ministry, in my family, in my city, in my nation. Resurrection power. Okay, the spirit of death is a curse. The spirit of death is a spirit. It's, it's demonic. It's evil. It has no hold on you, on me as believers. And I'm telling you, you will not die, but you will live. Okay? You will not die, but you will live. And Passover, Easter, is a time of resurrection. Some say resurrection. Where I believe that the tomb cannot shut down Jesus. Okay. The tomb cannot shut down the people of God. That heavy hand of Pharaoh cannot hold back the people of God. It had to burst open. It was ripe. There was a breakthrough. There was a resurrection. And I want to say this. Uh, 
being raised from the dead is different from being resurrected. Okay, being raised from the dead is different from resur being resurrected. It's the same power. It's resurrection power. But being raised from the dead is not resurrection. Okay, and, you know, I've seen uh, four dead raisins in my life in the last three, four years. I've seen four people raised back from the dead. Okay, one in Pakistan, one on the airplane from Malaysia to America, and two in Tijuana, Mexico. I've seen four dead raisings, but dead raisings are different from resurrection. Resurrection has to do with the second coming of Christ Jesus and you ascending with him, okay? But being raised from the dead has to do with you, you died and you came back to life here on this earth. Two different things, you follow me? But it's the same spirit of glory, same Holy Ghost resurrection power. Um, but I believe if right now God is... He's raising a standard. He's raising a new standard of Christianity. He's raising a new standard of believers. He's raising the banner of Jehovah Nisi. He's raising a banner. He's raising a new standard of what it means to be a believer, a man and a woman of God in these days. Someone say amen. But as he's raising a new standard, I want to tell you this. Uh, death cannot hold you down. The tomb cannot hold you down. Fire. The government cannot hold you down. Economy cannot hold you down. Sickness cannot hold you down. Death wears your sting. Pharaoh tried to hold back the Israelites, but the Israelites, bam, they were released with blessings. Fire. Hey, hey, hey. And death, the tomb, tried to hold down the body of Jesus, hold back Jesus in the grave. But of course, the spirit of life, resurrection power, lifted him up. The tomb was rolled away by angels. Someone say amen. Come on, Jesus is about to roll away your shame. He's about to roll away the tomb. He's about to roll the reproach of Egypt, of yesterday, of your shame, of your sin. So he's about to roll it away and you're about to be resurrected. So I believe right now in, in this month, guys, Easter, Passover, resurrection, God's about to resurrect some things if you feel like you've died inside he's about to resurrect you if you felt good seeing you pastor steve if you felt that your finances are dead your economy's dead your your business is shut down you feel like your faith has died you feel like your hope is died. you feel dead you feel like something died on the inside of you who am i talking to right now well god wants to resurrect you he wants to raise you back to life by the power of spirit and life, by the power of the Holy Spirit. My gosh, he wants to do it in your life, people of God. It's springtime, it's, it's barley harvest, it's time for the harvest of God. It's time for celebration, it's time for us to rejoice. Someone say rejoice, because sudden breakthrough, sudden Passover miracles, resurrection power is coming. Listen, and I want to say one more thing before I pray for you and we close. I want to say one more thing. People try to lie. All right. People try to lie about Jesus' resurrection. We know this. And uh, the Septuagint to Canada, the Bible shares stories of how people, uh, the guards, the guards were paid by the Pharisees and the Sadducees, the religious system, the religious spirit. They were paid by the Sadducees. The guards were paid by the Sadducees, the Pharisees, to make up a story that it was not Jesus, that somebody stole his body. You follow me? So people are trying to uh, lie and make it difficult. Uh, but the Christian faith is all about resurrection power. The Christian faith, and in fact, the Judeo-Christian faith has everything to do with the Messiah, the anointing, the anointed one that cannot be held back. The Judeo-Christian faith, everything stands on this. We're not Christians. You're not a Christian. There is no Christian faith if Jesus did not raise, if Jesus was not raised from the dead. There is no Christian faith. This is the God we believe in. This, this is what we believe in, that Jesus was born of a man, born in a manger, born, uh, born of a woman. Hallelujah. A virgin woman, a virgin Jewish girl. And Jesus came embodying the Godhead, yet becoming as man, becoming as you and I. 
He became a bond servant, becoming nothing. This is the premises of our Christian faith. And of course, Jesus fulfilled prophecy. And then he died on the cross as an innocent man. But he released the captives free. And what happened? When Jesus rose from the grave, the Bible says that the spirits of holy men, holy men, the patriarchs, they also rose back from the grave. I love this. I'm going to read this here, Matthew 27, 52. And the tombs broke open. See the tombs, come on. Jesus' breakthrough released breakthrough for everybody else. Your breakthrough is going to release breakthrough for everybody else. Someone say amen. And the tombs broke open. And the bodies, say bodies, of many holy people who had died were also raised to life. Isn't that incredible? The bodies of many holy men who were dead came back to life as well. Praise God. Which means that these, these, these spirits of these holy men, they rose back to life as well to testify of who Jesus is, to testify of the Messiah. And the Bible also says that these spirits of these men, of the cloud of witnesses, they're actually visiting people all throughout uh, Jerusalem, all throughout Israel. And people were freaked out. They were shocked. And in fact, Jesus also, for the next 40, 50 days, he began to walk around showing uh, the piercings on his side and, and testifying and meeting people at the road uh, to Emmaus. Can I get an amen? Because these people were witnessing and confirming that the anointing could not be held back. The anointed one, that Jesus was the Mashiach, the holy and anointed one, the one that's prophesied in Jesus, Yeshua. He was a Mashiach and could not be held, be, could not be held back, could not be bound by Satan, by death, by false lies, by false rumors, by made up stories. But this is the premise of our Christian faith that our God lives. He rose back from the grave. He, he was raised. He's the resurrection and the life. And I'm telling you now that in this month of Nisan, in this month of April, we're going to see resurrection. We're not only going to see dead races, we're going to see resurrection power. So I'm going to see resurrection power in my life. So I'm going to see resurrection power in my ministry, in my body, in my mind, sanctified. Touch now in Jesus' name. And I want to say this as I'm about to bring this to a close. And I want to pray for you. We're about to see resurrection power in the court systems of America. <laughs> We're about to see. Listen, they're trying to shut down and kill the church. Who's they? The left. Who's they? The liberals. Who's they? The Illuminati. They're trying to shut down and kill the Christian faith, the Christian Bible, the Christian voice. Listen, I'm, I am crazy, but you crazy. I am crazy, but don't be stupid because that's what they're trying to do, okay? And, and what they're trying to do is kill the Christian faith, like they kill babies, like they're killing babies. Abortion, they're trying to kill babies, trying to kill innocent life and use that for evil demonic sacrifice and worship to Molech, to, uh, to Baal, okay? And they're trying to do this, like they're trying to kill, they're killing babies. But not just that, they're trying to kill the Christian faith, the Christian vote. That's why even in California and so many liberal states, they're actually like manipulating the vote system. It's, it's crazy. It's horrible. It's ridiculous. They're manipulating because they cannot beat Trump. They can't beat Trump. <laughs> they cannot beat what God has put. God has put a... Chaos candidate, a wrecking ball in the White House for a reason. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. And why, why am I saying this? Because we're about to see resurrection in the Supreme Court. We're about to see a Shabbat, a dying of the old and a resurrection of the new. Baby born, new life. Someone say new life. We're about to see the death of the old. The dying off of fire, the dying off of the old, the evil, the old guard, the, the, the model. We're about to see a dying off of the flesh. Listen, if anything dies, it's the flesh. If anything dies, it's your flesh. Jesus himself said, anybody who wants to live must die. But if you want to die, but if you try to live, then you will die. 
He said, anybody who tries to gain must give. That's the kingdom principle. So anybody who dies will truly live. Remember, you cannot have glory without death. And we're about to see resurrection power the glory of Jesus. Resurrection, the Passover lamb. He is the Passover, Pesach lamb. He was the lamb that was slain before creation. He was the lamb that was in the garden that covered uh, Adam and Eve that was shed by the father. He is the lamb uh, that, that was caught in the thicket bush with Abraham and Isaac. He is the lamb, hallelujah, that was crucified. He is the Passover lamb. That's Jesus, our king. And in this month, of Nissan of April, we're about to see a, a ripe harvest. Someone say ripe harvest. We're about to see a redemption in Jesus' name. Someone say redemption, which is exodus, exile. Let my people go so that they can worship me. Amen. Let my people go so that they can worship. But that's what we're about to see. You're about to see that in mass exodus. Come on, people are leaving the Kool-Aid. People are leaving the old. People are leaving the tantalizing, uh, uh, the tantalizing, uh, you know, uh, uh, puppetry of the enemy, of, of the evil one. People are leaving it. Araboshe, the religious churches, the shika <laughs> rabosota. And people are crossing over. And Hallelujah. The third thing, you're about to see resurrection. So it's a resurrection. Listen, I want to pray with you today. If you receive today, someone say amen. You know, I'm so hopeful. I want to say I am so hopeful right now because you're about to be released. Hear me now. As fast as Pastor Rodney Howard Brown was released yesterday from jail, that's how fast you're going to be released from this. As fast as the man of God, Dr. Rodney Howard Brown was released from jail. From the county sheriff's department. For what? That's how fast you're going to be released from this situation, from this evil, from this coronavirus, this sickness, from this demonic prison, this demonic principality. That's how fast you're going to be released. Sudden breakthrough, sudden miracles, sudden deliverance, sudden glory. I want to pray for you, Father. I pray for all my friends. Hallelujah. I thank you. Come on, just worship with me. Worship the King for a minute, for a few minutes, few moments right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Just worship Jesus with me right now. No evil thing will come by. All evil will pass by. Passover. Passover miracles. I declare Passover miracles. Passover glory. Passover. Remember, but you have to eat the whole lamb and you have to be prepared. You have to be ready for the swift deliverance, for the swift, swift release, for the for the jailbreak. You have to be ready for the jailbreak. Holy Spirit, I give you thanks, Lord. A new song, a new sound, a new worship. Hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. A new sound, a new worship, a new song unto the Lord Jesus. God, I give you thanks. I give you praise. I give you worship. Remember, you're grumbling and you're complaining. And whatever evil you say, whatever negativity you, you let loose from your mouth is going to delay and deny the blessing of the promise you're coming into. My gosh, you will know them by their fruit. By the fruit of what they say. By the fruit of what they bear. You will know them by their fruit. My gosh. Mind that your roar is about to release redemption, recovery, and resurrection. Your Passover roar is about to release redemption, recovery, and resurrection. Someone say amen. Someone say my Passover roar will release sudden breakthrough. <sighs> Guys, this is Ben Lim here with your prophetic word for the month of April. If you receive this, amen. Listen, I want to pray right now for healing uh, for this coronavirus. Uh, I've been getting reports. There's a number of people in New York, uh, Canada, all around that people are dying. People are dying. People are dying. You know, well, here's the thing. I, I really, you know, don't want to sound or seem to be insensitive, but people die all the time. 
people are dying everywhere all the time. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, death is a normal thing. I really don't want to sound crude or rude or insensitive, but death is a normal thing. People die, okay, people die. And uh, uh, there's always going to be death, but there's going to be resurrection. And there's going to be <laughs> heaven. Let heaven invade earth, Jesus. Let heaven invade earth, Jesus. Wherever they're watching from, now, live replay, whatever is connected to you, I pray. Everybody, everybody, everything that's connected to you will prosper, will flourish like a Goshen in Jesus' name. But I want to speak the healing virtue of Jesus over coronavirus. I love what my friend Kat Kerr said. She said, this coronavirus is a virus. This coronavirus is a virus. It's not a disease and it's not a plague. It is a virus. And uh, you know what? I want to say that the blood of Jesus is greater and stronger than the coronavirus. It's in this virus, guys. Fire, power, now. Fire, power, now. Fire, power, now. We as a church of Jesus Christ, we take authority over the spiritual demonic realm and atmosphere in New York, in New Jersey, in Washington State, in Southern California, we take authority now as a collective ecclesia, body, bride of Christ. And we say, Jesus, fire, healing virtue now. And we thank you though. Listen, we're going to see many reports and many testimonies of people getting healed of coronavirus. Many, you, you are going to see many reports. Listen, I prophesy now that everybody you know Everybody you know who is tested positive for coronavirus, they're going to be tested positive for miracle healing. Everybody you know. You're going to be tested positive for breakthrough, for miracles. Hallelujah. For resurrection power. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. I'm telling you, you're gonna, there's going to be miracle testimonies and praise reports. Hallelujah. But unfortunately, you know, there will be people who die. Unfortunately, there will be people who pass. It's just a cycle of life, just the way it is. That's why you need to get your heart right. You need to get your life ready with Jesus. All right? But I believe in the power of life and resurrection. I, I denounce, I renounce death. I don't entertain that. That does not come into my sphere. That does not come into my room. That does not come into my mind. The devil is a liar. Why would I give him authority in my space, in my family? Why would I give fake news, manipulation, witchcraft, authority in my space? The devil is a liar. I kick you out today. Leave. Let my people go. Let them go now. Coronavirus, let them go now. Loosen the Jesus name. Fire! Hook! Guys, it's Ben Lim with your prophetic word for the month of April. Hey, 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 hey. Guys, I want you to write below, comment, just comment, comment what spoke to you the most, what ministered to you the most. Uh, give us some hearts, likes, do share if you received this. Amen. And I also want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I want you to uh, follow me on our public page. And if you want to give a donation, uh, to our ministry, Bella Ministries, please go ahead. Uh, you know, uh, you know, we would love uh, to pray with you. We love you guys. I'm proud of you. Listen, I love you. I'm very proud of you. Whether you agree with me or disagree, whether you agree or disagree with, uh, you know, uh, Pastor Ronnie Howard Brown, I don't care. I'm, I still love you. And I'm proud of you and well done, okay? Guys, it's Ben Lim Live with your uh, prophetic word for the month of April. Passover miracles, sudden breakthrough resurrection power hallelujah and i'm telling you now that our economy is going to resurrect i'm telling you now the stock market is going to resurrect i'm telling you now ha that your ministry is going to resurrect but you my gosh america 
This is the year of America's comeback. This is the greatest year. The Lord told me 2020 is the year of all years. It's the decade of all decades. It's the fight of all fights. It's the match of all matches. We're going to see. We're going to see. And listen, the enemy is trying to do all that he can to stop President Trump from being reelected. All this coronavirus was a hoax. All right, yeah, it's, it's people are dying. Yeah, people are getting sick. Yeah, it's a real virus. Yeah, there's a real sickness, man-made, biochemical, bioweapon. Uh, shout about how, hello, evangelist, prophet Don Carmen. Bless you. Fire. Araba. But all of this is a hoax to stop President Trump from being reelected. <clears throat> all of this is a hoax trying to stop President Trump from, from being reelected because they're scared. They're scared. They're wimps. They're chumps. They're scared. So they allowed, in fact, no, we as Christian believers, we opened up the door. We gave the devil these grounds. We gave big brother, the government, these grounds. We gave it up willingly. My gosh. But all of this is a hoax to try to stop President Trump from winning the election, being reelected. But we're going to see a landslide. We're going to see a movement of the people rise up. And we're going to see great breakthrough. I'm telling you guys, America will be saved. America still belongs to Jesus. America will be saved. And I, I'm believing that every state is going to turn red in Jesus' name. We're, we're going to see a mass move and a mass revival. I'm telling you now, America is not a Sodom and Gomorrah. America is not a whore of Babylon. The United States of America, it is a Nineveh that's going to be experiencing the greatest awakening of our time. And we are going to see the people of God begin to rise up in demonstration, miracle working power. And we're seeing a whole new Jesus people movement. That's what's going to happen. I'm telling you guys, we need to pray for our president, pray for his administration. Listen, I agree with uh, Prophet Jeremiah Johnson with the dream he released yesterday. I knew there was something shady about, uh, about that person in the White House. Could there be a rat in the White House? Of course, there's many rats in the White House. But the swamp is being drained. And Jesus is king. And I'm telling you guys, the plans and the purposes of God will prevail no matter what. And we're seeing this happen right before our eyes. And he allowed you to be alive for such a time as this. Some say hallelujah. And God's going to use the women. God's going to use the mamas. God's going to use the women of God. God's going to use you, man of God, woman of God. He's going to use you like never before. Fire, fire, fire. Shabbat. I want to say one more thing here uh, because I'm just in the flow. My gosh, I want to say one more thing here. You know, many prophets, people have said this is the decade of the Roaring Twenties. Of course, the 1920s, the Roaring Twenties. 1920s was a whole uh, revolution or a renaissance. There was an economic boom in the Roaring Twenties. Okay, there was an economic boom in the Roaring Twenties in 1920. But right after that, there was a great recession. There was a very bad, great recession. Uh, and many prophets and prophets, which I agree, this decade... From 2020 to 2029, 20, 30, this roaring 20s decade, there's a cultural revolution. There's a, uh, there's a cultural revolution and there is a, a shabbat, there's a boom of renaissance technology, uh, culture, innovation is happening. But one of the main things that um, defined the Roaring Twenties, hear me now. Roaring Justice, Roaring 2020, Lion of Judah anointing, decree, speak the word of the Lord. Roaring Twenties. Uh, one of the main things that defined the Roaring Twenties in 1920, in the 20s, was the woman. Was the woman. Shabbat Was the woman. And one of the things that Hallelujah. Shabarabosa. One of the main things that defined uh, uh, Shabarabasa Tata. The Roaring Twenties of the 1920s 
was the woman. Okay, it was known as the independent woman. Hallelujah. So God is wanting to release because that was a time where women got more freedom and women received rights, the right to vote, etc., etc. So, so women, I believe, are going to be a hallmark key and factor in this roaring twenties in this decade. Amen. Amen. Someone say amen. Women's independence. Women are going to set the captives free in this decade. So I bless all you wonderful, beautiful, powerful women of God. Be anointed. Be powerful. Be creative. Be free. Release the, the mother heart and the father heart. Release the nurturing, covering, healing virtue of the prophetic. Hallelujah. Well, I went a little bit longer today than I usually do for my prophetic lives. But I love you. I bless you. Happy April. Happy Pesach. And I'll see you soon. God bless.